Not only am I going to suffer because I can't get my rest. Now I'm pissed. I can't get my rest. You called and you literally lied to me. Hey, this is Howie and this is one of the stories about me working as an LVN on my free time while I'm going through RN school. Well, last night I worked at a hospice and this patient was still hanging on to life um, and I did the best I could, try to make the patient as mostly as comfortable as I could and um, when my shift was over, I waited for my replacement. Luckily, my replacement had called and said that she would be 15 minutes late. I said, not a problem, happens to the best of us. I'll see you when you get here. 15 minutes later. 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, and so on. And I'm like, where is this person? So what do I do? I'm texting her back. I said, hey, do you know when you're gonna be here? No answer. So when she finally comes through the door, all smiles, she, doesn't, she sees me. We haven't met each other before. <clears throat> we don't work for the same company. But instead of talking to me, she starts talking to the other staff that's not with her over at the nursing facility and she's just laughing it up on the cell phone saying hey how's it going blah 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 and I'm like uh, are we gonna do report you know what if you're gonna be more than 15 minutes late we need to get some supervisors involved all right because not only am I going to suffer because I can't get my rest. Now I'm pissed, I can't get my rest. You called and you literally lied to me over the phone and said you were gonna be 15 minutes late when you were actually 45 effing minutes late, okay? You wouldn't go talk to the staff thinking that maybe, oh, this is just a punk kid that doesn't know what he's talking about. And so you start molding around trying to be all charismatic, but I can see right through you. Okay, you are irresponsible. And I'm not the most punchable nurse, I can't say, I can say that. And I don't always show up 15 minutes early, but I for the most part, dang well know that I am ready to clock in at least five minutes early, okay? And I never leave the night shift or the off-going nurse hanging longer than they have to. Why? Because it's detrimental to the nurse, it's detrimental to the patient, which is most important and it's detrimental to you, all right? You make yourself look bad. You make your team look bad. You make me look bad. <clears throat> and who suffers? The patient suffers, okay? Don't be that nurse. I understand maybe you have kids or you live far away, but that doesn't mean that you can go willy-nilly and just say what you want, hoping that things are gonna be just okay because the world revolves around you. No, okay? You're an asshole, all right? And if that happens, you can bet your ass that I'm gonna be calling your supervisor, my supervisor so I can get the overtime, and your agency, all right? We're gonna talk and butt heads because you're not taking your job seriously. You're not a licensed professional, okay? You're just being a dick who thinks that, oh, well, the patient's not gonna remember. The patient is dying or the patient will die by the time they get there. No, you take care of the patient all the way till the end. And taking care of the nurse is taking care of the patient as well, all right? We work as a team. Don't be that asshole, all right? Because if you are, we're gonna be talking on the phone. I'm gonna be calling you supervisors. I don't give a F whether or not, oh no, Howie's just throwing me under the butt. Oh, heck no. You would do the same damn thing to me if I ever did that crap. So now I'm pissed, now I can't sleep, and you're just an a-hole because you just pretty much neglected our patient. All right, it's not abandonment, especially because I can't leave, and I won't leave until my replacement gets here, which is you, by the way, which is what you're supposed to be playing. But instead, you decide to be late. So thanks for that. And now I can't sleep. Please don't do it again. <laughs>